Hi guys, it's Sue, your Not So Crafty Crafter here. I uh, just wanted to stop in and say hello and share a tiny little small online slash Hobby Lobby haul that I picked up over the last few weeks. Um, <clears throat> nothing earth shattering, just some deals that I found and thought I would share. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love penny block stamps and this is one that I've been using a lot. And I've been creating a lot of silhouette cards with these. I just love the look of these. This is just some Distress Oxide ink blending. Same colors, two different types of card stock. So the color variation is due to the color of the paper. But And then also using some Distress Oxide, or not Distress Oxide, but some dist Distress Crayons, which are pretty cool too. But anyway, this is the set that I've been using, like nobody's business. It's like every day I make a card with that. Um, but this is the set that I've been looking for. I've been watching a few online videos and design team members for Penny Black. And one lady in particular, Virginia Lou, you can follow her on Instagram, did a beautiful, gorgeous card with like random embossing, random heat embossing, where she just used a little dauber and put ink on various spots so that she would just have flecks of gold or silver or whatever color she is. She used gold, and then she inked various parts of the stamp. So it was just a stunning card, and I had to try it. I did try it with my other one, and it did work, but I had to have this stamp set. This is youthful. It was with the, not the current release, it's coming out this week. But the previous release, it's a spring release, a spring-summer release. And I want to say May-June is when it came out. Maybe even April, I'm not sure. But I love Penny Black stamps, so I will be getting more. I think I have like eight or nine of them in my stash now. Um, and then I had a coupon for Simon's stamp for $5 off or $6 off. So I went ahead and I got this... What is this one called? Daisy Background, I guess is all it is. Yeah, Daisy Background. It's from not this current release, but the previous release where they did all kinds of florals. Um, <clears throat> and I've just been going back and forth. Did I want this or did I want the separate stems of daisies that they have? I went ahead and got this. I've really loved working with background stamps recently. And I'm starting to amass some of those as well. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And I also ordered a few things. I did get another Simon Says Stamp coupon to use. So I'll be using that next month. And then I went ahead. I was perusing through joannes.com. Don't be fooled by the Hobby Lobby. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, I was at joannes.com. And I noticed that they were having different things um, on sale. Um, stamping and scrapbooking stuff is what they call it but they don't carry these in the store but they do carry them online and they were the week I went looking for them they were $3.49 now I needed 18 of these they are colors I need are from nine of each from two separate sets <laughs> so um because I was buying them as sets and I found that I wasn't using all of the colors so I started buying them individually um I had Ian, hush please. Sorry, my son's in his room. Um, I had all 18 that I needed in my car, and I thought, oh, I'm not going to do this. So I went ahead and I knocked it down to the nine that I really wanted. And I didn't order them. And I was kicking myself. And I went back the beginning of last week, or the middle of last week, and I was going to clear out my shopping cart. Because I kept getting those annoying emails, you have things in your cart, you have things in your cart. And I was like, oh, well, let me just go clear that out. And I noticed when I hit refresh on the cart, they were coming up $2.99. So they were, instead of 40% off from the previous week, they were marked down 50% off. They were marked down, they were on sale at 50% off. So I went ahead and I hit that order button because that's half price. And I don't think you're ever going to get them cheaper than that. So I'll just go ahead and share the colors that I got. Uh, Victorian Velvet. Milled Lavender, Shabby Shutters, and Scattered Straw, Weathered Wood, and Chipped Sapphire. This is one of those dark colors, but I kind of like blue, so we'll see. 
Festive berries, which is going to be so useful come holiday time. Bundled sage and dried marigold. Now, the two things that irritated me about ordering from Joann's. One, they had 59 of the 60 colors. They did not have carved pumpkin. I don't know if it was something that was sold out. It just was not on the list. So I went to Hobby Lobby earlier this week and I picked that up. I used my 40% off coupon, so it was $2.49. But I wanted this because fall's coming, folks. So definitely going to be using a lot of the oranges and the yellows to make fall cards, right? Then I got, I picked up this agenda. It's from Paper House. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off this week. Um, <clears throat> this is for home personal crafting. It's, it's going to stay here in my craft room. Um, one of the things that I liked about it is that it is undated because I'm one of those that sometimes from week to week, hey, no dates, from week to week, month to month even, I don't touch my planner. So say I fill out June, but I don't do anything with August. I can make that September. It's mine. I can customize it. So I saw that it was undated and I grabbed it. Um, there are some nice features in it. Of course, it's not an Erin Condren. It's not a um, Mambi or a Happy Planner. But it does have some nice features. It has a pocket in the front. And it has a pocket in the back. It's really pretty, too. Lots of florals. And I'm a floral girl. So I'm happy with the colors in here. And then in the back, the very, very back. I'm going to try and set this so that you can see it. There's three pages of stickers. Awesome. There's some washi stickers. And then holiday stickers, months. More washi stickers, just motivational stuff, and then to do stickers, checklists to do, and then the various like shopping, buy a birthday gift, coffee day, important, banking. So I really like that. So, well, that's just me. And then I went across the street to, or up the block actually to Menards. My husband needed to get some stuff. And of course, like most people, I use the blue painter's tape when it comes to taping down my watercolor channels when I'm watercoloring or for, here it is, for doing my, my taping down my stencils and stuff. We all know what this is. This is the blue painter's tape that you can get at Walmart. Even Dollar Tree sometimes carries it. Um, and I want to try the purple tape. It just seems kind of pricey to me. Now, I like this, but you still have to be very careful. And you kind of have to peel it off at an angle because there's still a lot of tack to that. I'm really pulling on that with two fingers. So, while my husband was doing his thing in Menards, I went down the paint aisle. And then I went down the glue aisle. Just kind of meandering around. And I found this frog tape. And it's called Delicate Surface. Low adhesion. So I thought I would try it. I have not tried it out yet. But it's for when you're painting in certain areas and you don't want to pull the paint up. And this is much less tacky than this blue stuff. So I'm going to give this a try. And the neat part about this, it was only $4.49. So if it works, I'll let you know. And you can hit your hardware store up and look for Frog Tape. Walmart might even carry it. Um, and I think really the only other thing I have going on is some organizing stuff I want to do. Um, the first off being, yes, I went ahead. I had my distress oxide all stamped out on color charts and I spilled something on it. And I thought, well, since I have new ones, I'll go ahead and print out a new chart and I'll start over. But then I'm going to laminate it, <laughs> which I should have done in the first place, but I didn't. But you go to rangerinc.com and they have all of these down. If you go all the way down to the bottom of the page where it would be more like a site map, there's a link that says organize my ranger products. And that's where you will find all of these. So I did one for my distress oxides, one for my distress inks, which I don't have a lot of the full size. I have all of the minis. So that's what that'll be for. 
This is for my Distress Oxide Sprays, which I only have like four or five. But we will see. It looks like they're coming out with more here. Hmm. Interesting. And then my Distress Crayons. Now, I don't have a lot of them. I think I have four sets. So that would only be about 20 of them. But I like how these are grouped by set number. Because they come in those envelopes where you can keep them all together and store them. I like how they did that. So I'm going to get busy and do that this evening. And then the other thing that I'm working on, just thought I would share with you, is I have like 80-something sets of these Stampin' Up! woodblock stamps in these clamshell cases. Now, they're awesome. They were a gift, and I adore them, and I do use them a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. In fact, no, that's not it. Oh, I had a card sitting here with one of these. But anyway, anyway, the person that gave them to me or shared them with me has them labeled, which is fine. And what I tried to do is store them on a bookshelf laying flat like this on top of each other with these out so I could see. The only thing with that is these clamshells come in different cases, sized, different sized cases. So some areas I may only have like five sets of these and then I have to start with another grouping. Otherwise, I'm wasting space. So that wasn't working for me. Second of all, if I put them all by size, I'd really have to search for whatever stamp type of stamp I was looking for. What I decided to do, because there are 80-something of these, I'm going to say there's like 82 of these sets, I'm going ahead, and I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not in a rush. I just take a stack off my shelf. I do them, I put them back, and that's it. But what I'm doing is I'm stamping them out. Now, this is, I've done four. This is going to be number five, but I'm just using it as an example because it was on my other table. I'm stamping them out, and I'm putting a number. And when I go to put them on the shelf, that, no, I'm not taking these off because that's still going to help me. But I'm going to put a number here, and I'm going to put the number five. And I'm going to stamp it out here, put the number five, the name of the stamp set. But then I'll have all the images so I know what is in set number five. And then when I go to look for it on my bookcase, all I have to do is look for the number five. And I'll put that right here. And then I can store them the way I want to that uses, utilizes, the. it makes the best use of the space that I have. Because if I do it any other way, I'm going to have big gaps. Or they're not going to be stacked by size. And they're going to be toppling all over the place when I go to reach for one. So this is what I could come up with. If you have any other ideas that might work, I'd love to hear them. But this is what I'm doing so far. And like I said, I've done four. And then I'm just going to put them on a ring and hang them off of that bookcase. So when I want something to stamp... All I have to do is look, see, do I have an image like that from Stampin' Up? Go through my things, walk over to my bookcase, find set number 37, and I'm good to go. And then it'd be easier to put them away, too. So I'm all about trying to keep my space neat because it's not my biggest priority. But I don't like to work when my space is messy. I just kind of lose my oomph, if you will. So, But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Hopefully I will get to starting my room tour video. I know I keep promising. I'm sorry. I was going to start it last week and I realized I had to do some serious vacuuming. And Kitty Cat has been walking all over, knocking stuff down. And there's a few things I really want to get out of the room, which they're not major things. I just need to have my husband help me because they're big. I mean, not big, major, big, but like... I have a tote full of storage stuff here that needs to go in another room. It just looks bad. I have a bunch of stuff on a rocking chair in the back of me that looks bad. But it's his stuff, so he needs to deal with it, not me. So, But anyway, that's all I have. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, my 24th wedding anniversary is Saturday. So tomorrow we're going to head up to Des Moines to do some grocery shopping at Sam's. Go out to a nice dinner. And then Saturday, I think maybe we'll try and do something fun as a family. So probably won't be around much. Hopefully next week I will get started on that room tour. One thing I wanted to ask, when I do this room tour, do you want one long 45-minute video 
Or would you prefer I break it down into sections? Like I can do my office area section and then I can do a part of my work area section. I can do my paper storage. Let me know in the comments below what you would prefer to watch. And then I can better plan how to record this. That would be awesome. I'm going to head out, folks. Have a great weekend. Bye.